Welcome to Pops Quiz. Hi, for this episode of Pops Quiz, I've got something a little different. Two science presenters that have inspired me from a very young age. Dallas Campbell is a presenter on TV shows such as Bangles of Theory and City in the Sky. And he's also the voice on the Run the Solar System audio track for the British Science Week. I met Dallas when I was seven after going to see one of the live Bangles of Theory science shows. And I've loved live science shows ever since. My other guest is Carrie Byron. I used to watch Carrie all the time on Mythbusters when I was younger with my dad. It's where my love of science started. We loved it so much that we even bought the books. I even named Carrie in my Spark Hub interview when asked who my biggest inspiration was. Carrie now has a new show called The White Rabbit Project project which teams up with Grant and Tori again. For all the links about Carrie and Dallas are in the description down below. Dallas and Carrie took the time out of filming in Scotland to tell me about how they became science presenters. Dallas Campbell. I'm Carrie Byron. Welcome to Poppy Presents. Uh, Poppy's asked us some deep and probing questions. What you got? Well she basically wants to know how we got involved in science television. So I don't know, I think we both have quite interesting stories. I mean, you were on Mythbusters, which was, mm -hmm. without a doubt, the most popular show in the world in terms of build, in terms of engineering, in terms of exploring science. So how, did, how did that happen? It was a lot of fun. I, I Totally by accident. I wanted to get the special effects. I was a sculptor. And my first day as an intern at Jamie Heinemann's shop in Five was the first day that Mythbusters was filming. And uh, back then, not a lot of women, so I was a novelty, and they just kind of pulled me in front of the camera and said, you're a host. And that was it? I, you, I, didn't do, you didn't do any tests or anything like that? No, they just like, no. come and stand there and say that? I was building in the background, and I really enjoyed the building and the physicality of yeah. it, and they just kind of pushed me in front of the camera, and you can tell from the early Mythbusters, I am awkward. I think it was a great show. It still is a great show. It stands up when you watch Mythbusters. I did a show called Bang Goes a Theory for the BBC. I think we used to borrow a lot of Mythbusters ideas, <laughs> different builds and that kind of stuff. But mine was a mistake as well, it was kind of by accident. I was in America and I, I, I wrote a, I had an idea for a TV series. And the idea for the series, I needed someone who was really bad at science, who wasn't like a scientist. I wanted someone coming from the bottom up rather yeah. than like a professor telling you stuff. Yeah, talking head. Exactly. So I sort of cast myself in that role because I wasn't particularly good at, even though I loved science and I loved thinking about ideas and history and story and that kind of thing. I wasn't particularly good at science at school, so I cast myself in that, and that's how it was. But I think the interesting thing is, in terms of science presenting, every science presenter, every science communicator that you meet will have a different story of how they got involved. There is no one way of doing it. Well, Mythbusters, uh, we're all science enthusiasts, but none of us were scientists. Yeah. We were all, there was kind of, kind of the gag was the fact that we were learning with the audience. Yeah, I think that's important. I think it's, it's you need non-scientists to talk about science. If there's only scientists who talk about science, then you, all you ever do is sort of perpetuate the myth that only scientists are allowed to talk about science. Yeah. It's a bit silly. I mean, I think it's really important, especially now, for people to be interested in science in general, as far as Correct. a scientific literacy to create an evolution in society. Correct. There you go. And here we are in the beautiful west coast of Scotland. I'll hand you back to Poppy. Hi, Poppy. Thank you both so much for sharing your science presenter story. I can't believe Carrie got her, her job on the Mythbusters on the first day of working for Jamie. It's also amazing to hear that both of you call yourself science enthusiasts rather than scientists. I think that's what I'm going to call, start calling myself. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video please remember to like and subscribe. Join me next time when I'll be back with more amazing science communicators. Bye!